Based on the Colt Police Positive Special, the two-inch barreled Colt Detective Special really became one of the iconic guns from the Hartford maker. The Colt Detective Special Revolver was first introduced in 1927, and it was intended to be used by plainclothes detectives uh, to be worn under their clothing, so it would be short, small, compact, but still pack a punch. So it was made with a two-inch barrel for the most part. Uh, most all of them were blued with that beautiful royal blue uh, finish that Colt was famous for and collectors today really appreciate. And it was chambered in 38 Special. When the 38 Special was introduced in 1899, it rapidly became the most popular cartridge for the police market as the uh, the police market moved from 32 caliber handguns to 38 caliber handguns in the early 20th century. This required a longer cylinder and a longer frame and Colt accommodated these with initially the Colt Police Positive Special and then the Detective Special. It became the detective's gun, uh, used by police officers in plain clothes, used by armed citizen, used by bad guys, uh, and also it just made a nice trail gun. You get the power of the 38 Special cartridge in a very compact package. By 1932, uh, the detective special changed from a square butt to a round butt, and those early square butt guns are very, very collectible. Uh, everybody pretty much had a detective special or a dick special. Uh, including NRA Life member Charles Lindbergh. Uh, his gun was a Fitz conversion, and uh, a Fitz gun, of course named for J. Henry Fitzgerald, a longtime Colt employee, uh, had some features that other guns didn't, guns that were very forward-thinking in terms of defensive firearms. Uh, they had their trigger guards opened up, and they had their hammers bobbed. Uh, it's thought that less than 100 uh, Fitz specials were made on the detective special frame, and Charles Lindbergh had one of them. So the first issue of the detective special goes from 1927 to 1946. The second issue, that gun had a 1 8 inch deeper frame, and it went from 1947 to 1972. In 1966, the Detective Special got wraparound grips, and it's actually a nice hand-filling grip, but it doesn't really help with the concealment. There was a third issue for the Detective Special, and that ran from 1973 to 1986, the end of the Detective Special uh, of old. And that gun, of course, had a shrouded ejector rod. The Colt Detective Special was competing directly in the market with the Smith & Wesson Chief Special. Now the Chief Special was built on a slightly smaller frame. This had advantages and disadvantages. The, uh, the Chief Special had a slightly narrower profile uh, through the width of the cylinder, which is a bulky part of the gun for concealment purposes. However, the Chief Special was limited to five shots whereas the Colt Detective Special had six shots. And the Colt Detective Special uh, remained very, very popular in the market for a quality, concealable revolver uh, throughout much of the 20th century. So Colt brought the Detective Special back from 1993 to 1996, and collectors call those guns the Detective Special fourth issue. With the end of the fourth issue, was that the end of the Detective Special? No. Colt brought out another gun called the SFVI or SF6, and this is a transfer bar safety gun, and they eventually transitioned that gun into the DS2. The DS2 was made from 1997 to 1998, and of course you could get it in 38 Special, but they also chambered it in 357 Magnum. The current Colt Cobra that was just introduced in 2017 that gun is actually based on the SFVI or the Colt DS2. Of all the Colt double actions that are out on the market, you've got a, a, a whole world of collecting out there if you just confine yourself to, to one, one period of, of double actions, you, you'll never get bored. My favorite uh, has always been the Detective Special. 
I've always been drawn to detective specials because I've always enjoyed the guns that I enjoy watching in movies. And uh, being a film noir buff, I love uh, the film noir series. And you know, it was it was the gun for that genre of film. But for me, it kind of you know jumped the shark a little bit when I saw a photograph of General George S. Patton. And he has a, a really cool, I believe it's an S.D. Myers square holster that's on, on the back of his khakis. And there's a square butt detective special sticking out of, uh, out of Patton's uh, holster. Well, it turns out that through Charlie Pate and his wonderful work on, you know, handguns and revolvers of the, you know, the Second World War, the United States Army did purchase about four or 5,000 detective specials for use during the Second World War. 3,000 of them uh, were sent to the OSS, and they specifically ordered these two-inch Colt detective specials with square butts. So even though the production line of banker specials and detective specials, which began in 1927, officially went and transition to the round butt that we know of uh, and they're so familiar with in 1933, 1934, there is a block of guns, 5,000 of them in 1942 and 43 and 44 that were square butt that went to the U.S. Army. So when you see Patton's gun there, it's actually a U.S. inspected, stamped, lettered by Colt, the square butt detective special.